my seven part series following a week in my life as a single mom in medical school. Today is day, day four. Oh my gosh, we have made it to the middle of the week. If you haven't seen Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday now, be sure to head back and check those out for a full view of how this week is going. With that, are you ready to start Wednesday? Six forty nine AM. Let's get some breakfast going and work on a lunch to take to school today. Stop stress picking. I'm going to do it. Today will be the day that I don't smudge my mascara. Fifty-five is a great time to start heading out the door. sweet 30 minute buffer to get me into my microbiology exam excel session so that we can prepare for the test coming up. This may actually be some sort of record. Seven minutes to get from my BFE parking in to my locker and ready to go into class. <laughs> and that's when I realized that I didn't have my computer charger with me. I knew I had forgotten something that morning. So now I'm pleading with my mother and daughter to perhaps bring it out to me at school since I have a big, huge gap, but have to stay at campus until 4 p.m. for a short meeting. Since it sounds like they're going to come save me, I'm going to head up to the library now that my Excel session is over and do a little more studying for all of the upcoming end of semester exams. They're here, they're here. Let's go run down and greet them. Justice wants to go be a doctor? Yeah. In the school to be a doctor? Yeah. Okay. That makes studying the hardest and easiest thing in my life. So let's get settled back into studying. At the 
end of our micro Excel session today, we got access to another set of practice problems. So I'm back in Anki and creating cards from these. If you guys have seen my previous videos from this week, you know exactly how I'm doing this. I bold the parts of the question that are important, do a little formatting, create a closed deletion, and add the card. Before I move on, I'm going into the browse feature just to find my gram negative algorithm chart that helps remind me of the lab tests that get me to the correct answer in the question. But even more important than that, the answers to the question were talking about the association between salmonella and osteomyelitis. So I'm going to head back into the browse feature of Anki to find cards that show this association. Here's a great one, and I love the way the statement is written out here. So I'm just going to snag it, copy, and paste it back into the notes of the new card that I'm creating. This way I have this tidbit of information attached to this card as well in case I need a refresher of how I got to the correct answer. and ready to unmask for some lunch at one o'clock. Done with lunch, and then I made the mistake of running into a funny Dr. Mike video, and I had to sit and watch it before I went back inside new school email. Looks like I don't actually have to stay on campus all day. Okay, well, I guess I'm going home. After dilly-dallying just a little bit too long, it is now 3.31 and time to start getting some schoolwork done. Gosh, you guys, I am so excited because a surprise has just arrived. And I think I have just enough time to get this set up before our four o'clock Zoom meeting. using a box cutter or razor blade as a screwdriver. But in my defense, it is so hard to come out of my office and see my daughter and then come back again on both of us. So this was my improvisation. business. I cannot tell you how much I have struggled with only one monitor for the last few days. I am constantly referencing so many different resources while studying. Not being limited to showing or hiding so many windows really makes my workflow so much more efficient. Hey, it's 5.10 now, and I guess I forgot to update you on my four o'clock Zoom meeting. 
Well, it was basically over before it started. It was just a quick update to say that we'd be COVID testing when we came back for our spring semester after Christmas break. Grandma was probably the better egg maker. that a mother's work seems endless. <laughs> Tomorrow's professional outfit. tomorrow's OPP outfit. Time check, 
11.30. Time to head upstairs and see what my daughter's into. A pillow. Did I mention something about a mother's work is endless? What are you trying to do? While we might be falling into bed at 7.42, it's not until 10.07 that I get to catch some Z's. Thank you for watching our Wednesday at med school. Just a reminder, I am a single mom of a toddler, but I have tons of help from my own mother who actually moved out here with us so that she could help me to go to school. Med school is so hard. It's really just not something you can do on your own. It takes a village in so many ways for everyone. We all need to support each other, our family, our friends, our peers. We're in this together. Watch out for Thursday's video coming and keep in mind that this is a look into my second to last week in my first semester of my first year of medical school. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. It helps us to reach other people that could find this video helpful to them. Definitely feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking or your questions that you may have. And remember that if this mom can do it, so can you. Mm -hmm.